Leo, what it do, Leo? I'm Chris. Welcome to your August horoscope. Now, I've been gone for a little while, but I haven't been doing nothing. As you can see, I moved. I got this amazing new camera microphone set up all professional and stuff. If you're new, welcome to the house. If you are coming back, welcome back. Um, so guys, lots of intensity this past few months. Eclipse season, retrogrades, we're coming out of all of that. Happy birthday, Leo. What a nice little time it is that we have all this fiery Leo energy with Jupiter and Mercury going direct. It's a nice time to be alive. It's a nice time to be a Leo. Uh, real quick, guys, if you want to check out my website below, that's in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. All that good stuff. So Leo is getting a couple of downloads as I was coming into this reading for you guys. And I think right now, for Leo, you guys are so super powered, so... Uh, full of energy, radiant. That what I was getting in my head coming to this reading was that you guys have to be a little careful about what you attract. You know, I, I got a reading from a Babalao, and a Babalao is a, um, a priest in Santeria. And what he told me was that uh, I have the ability to sort of create with my words. He, he's used a Spanish expression, I don't remember it, but it's from, from your mouth to God's ears. And that's sort of what, and, and in that, to be very careful about the things I say, especially to other people, because they have a, a potential to become real. And Leo, that's what I feel with you guys, is that you're so magnetic, you're so radiant, that you have to be very thoughtful right now about how you use that power and what you draw to you and what you wish for. You know, there's a wish card in the tarot called the Nine of Cups. It's often referred to as a wish card, but... Often with that card comes a warning, right? To be very clear about what it is that you want. There's potential to get what you want and realize it's not as fulfilling as you want, thought it would be. To get what you want and realize it's not going to make you happy. Or that, in a worse sense, it could be actually destructive. Another thing I want to say before we jump into the reading, Leo, one of the things I was getting, I'm looking at my notes down here, is thinking about what it means to be a star, right? What does it mean to be king? You, you guys love to talk about being Leo, the king of the jungle, and it's great. I love it. I'm here for it. But one of the things I was meditating on is the idea that when we look at stars, when we look at the king, when we look at things like that, all we see is the final product. All we see is the performance. All we see is the person standing on a stage getting raucous applause. But what we have to remember is all the work all the sacrifice that took to get there for someone to make a one hour performance it took days weeks months years of practice of hustle of of marketing of all that all these things that we don't see all we see is the start right all we see is the performance we say we want to do that we want to be that person we want to be on a stage and get have people applauding us but Leo, it's very important this month to understand that to be the star takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of sacrifice. And I have this revelation that the high that a performer gets is maybe yes in the applause and the celebration and the victory and the success. But it's actually, I think, in the, success, in the successful execution of what you've been working on. Of, of knowing that the product that you've created the product that you've put your blood, sweat, and tears in turned out well, seeing the results of your work. Central situation for the month of August, Leo, is the lovers. Good vibes here. Harmony with self, harmony with others. Sort of a coming together, I think, of a lot of different things you've been going through. A lot of different experiences, a lot of different, uh, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to put this aside so I have room on my table, of all the work you've been doing. This is a month to be thankful. This is a month to give gratitude for what you've accomplished. This is a month to be grateful for how far you've come. The Lovers here is a card of success. It's a card of, of, of successful marrying of all the different parts of yourself. And I think through what Leo has been through in the past few months, past few years, there's like an enlightenment. This fire that this uh, Adam figure in this car is carrying is like a torch. It's a beacon for others. That's what you guys are right now. You're lit up. If you're in a relationship, very harmonious, 
with other people. If you're single and not looking, a sense of being comfortable with yourself. If you are looking, this is a good sign for August of romance. But what the lovers is ultimately to me in the in the journey of the major arcana, the lovers is the point in your life where you start to really truly recognize and value connection, where you start to understand how important your relationships are. This is an important month, Leo, to get in touch with your relationships, to be a shining example to others, to share your warmth and your spirit with the world. So think very much about your relationships right now. What can be improved? What can be worked on? Do you have tension with people that needs to be worked out? Do you have a connection to somebody or something that needs to be worked on? Value your relationships this month. Repair anything that is meaningful to you that maybe has some phrase in it. You know, me and my friends have talked a lot these past few months about when you really care about somebody, then you fight for the relationship, right? And I don't want you to, if you're like in a toxic connection with a person, with a person to think that it's your responsibility to make everything right. But here at Leo, we're eight of wands, we have to communicate. You have to put yourself out there with people. I think for a lot of Leos, you have to make the effort right now to connect to people. Like specific people, not just people in large, at large, but um, people who you care about. If everything is good with you right now, tell the people you care about that you love them. You need to kind of express yourself in these ways right now. It's very important for you guys to be connected because with these two cards here, there's an energy of networking. There's an energy of movement. There's an energy of support. There's an energy of growth. You guys are ready to take off. I think that that's what happens here. You know, it's interesting. The reason, part of the reason I think this the way about the lovers is because the card that comes after it is the chariot. And what happens when you have unity? What happens when you have harmony? What happens when you have successful relationships? You have the strength, you have the vigor, you have the, the wherewithal to really drive forward. In our past here, Leo, we have the Ace of Swords. So a lot of clarifying moments in the past few months. A lot of moments of uh, being very, like it feels like you're very understanding of who you are. You're very understanding of what's important to you. That's not good English. Um, oh, I wanted to mention, this is the first reading that the little lion of mine, Gypsy Cat, wanted to hang out in the back of the reading. The feline energy this month is strong, yo. But here we have the Ace of Swords, being very discerning. You guys have maybe had to disconnect yourself from certain people or certain situations. The, the, there's an emphasis with the Ace of Swords always on, on cutting things away. And I don't think that's like all there is to it. I think if there is a cutting away, it's because of an understanding of what is serving you and what is not. And I think that's the emphasis of this card. It's clear sight. It's the desire to be light. Now we have the Empress. So guys, this is what I meant when I said you guys are radiant. And I know some people get mad when I talk about like how good things are, because some people come to watch these videos and understandably because they're going through hard times. But now the Empress, you've been getting in touch with love. Two cards of love right next to each other. Cards of connectivity. Cards of material success. So some of you guys may have been, uh, been feeling really successful in what you do for a living. And how that feeds you from within. How that makes you feel good about yourself. I also get a sense of feeling good about your role in things. So whether that's your role as mother, father, husband, wife, whether it's the roles you play at work, whether it's the roles you play with your friends, feeling very situated and very comfortable about who you are and where you fit into things. Having a lot of clarity about where you belong and what you belong doing. 
having a lot of moments that really get to the core of what you're about. Now in the more recent past, Eight of Swords in Reverse. Breaking free. Breaking free of limits. Breaking free of uh, self-imposed limitations. Using limitations now as a way of growth. In other words, discipline. How have you been disciplining yourself, Leo? How have you been focusing on what brings you abundance and emotional abundance and material abundance. Leo, there's a very strong sense here of clarity and vision. And I think that the vision that you have now is what's going to take you forward. It's like, I think we've talked about this in past readings, Leo about needing to be clear before you pounce, knowing what you're doing before you jump. Here in our turning point, Leo, we have this, the world in reverse. It's not focusing there, here we go. The world in reverse. So what's pushing us forward is knowing that there's a chapter of your life that needs to be done with. Cutting away, done with limitations, right? I think the, the thing that's not done here, the thing that you know you need to do right now is to release limitations on self. To not be holding yourself back from joy, from happiness, from pleasure. From not allowing yourself to evolve. From being stuck in certain ways. The world is saying something needs to come to a close because there's opportunity and potential ahead and I think you guys know that now you know that now very clearly you know what needs to be done page of pentacles going into the future here for the rest of August page of pentacles guys is a fresh start I think specifically with regards to your money and your career, I think there's elevation here. There's movement. Some of you might need to say quit a job or release something that is keeping you from moving on. Some of you may have just started new jobs. And now you're looking to the future and looking at how you build on what you've created here. What opportunities are available to you? Page of Pentacles says, now is the time to dream. Now is the time before we get to the Knight of Pentacles where we have to like do the work and move forward. Now is the time to build the dream. And this is what I said about attraction, right? Where we put our attention is where our energy goes. So build up the level of attraction for something that is truly beneficial to you. Something that is truly in line with your purpose. Something that makes you feel good that makes you feel like you're evolving. Full moon, guys. This is a really positive reading. Leo, your readings are often very positive. I mean, you can just look at these cards themselves and not put my opinion into them, and they're very positive cards. With the full moon here, guys, we're completing. So this stage where we uh, maybe feel stuck, in August, something's gonna change. In August, you're going to get something that you really want. And I think that's why I came in talking about attraction. That's why I was sort of getting these hits about attraction. Because with the full moon energy, we manifest. We create. We're so full of energy that we can almost draw anything we want to us. What are a lot of you Leos drawing to yourself this month? Real love. I'm saying, Leo, if you have been looking for love, August is a fiery month to get it. Now, back to my speech in the beginning, I know so many people who want love but don't go on dates. Like how? Is, is, is the man of your life just going to fall into your lap? Work needs to be done. But you have the power to create anything you want. So if you are Leo who's looking for love, be very smart. This is why I was saying also about what you attract. 
be very conscious of the energy you're putting out into the world and what that's going to bring to you. Be very conscious because the full moon is also about illumination. Be very discerning about what makes sense for you. For some of you in relationships, this could be next steps. So becoming official, becoming married, something like that. For those of you in longer term relationships, this is about now what you bring to your partnership, what you have to offer. Maybe if your partner, you feel like they've been doing more or offering more. Now it's like you're coming to the table this month, Leo, with a lot to offer. Monetarily. Career wise, it's like there's been a, a lifting of spirits that now allows you to give. And to provide. In new ways. But again, Leo, I have to, if there's one thing to take away from this reading is to be very conscious of what you attract. Be very smart, be very, um, you know, I don't want to say humble, but, but realistic about what you can attract, about what kind of relationship is right for you. I think that part of uh, finding the right relationship for yourself is learning how to pick really well. And a lot of people don't pick well. A lot of people pick things that they think they want. Back to exactly what I said from the beginning. You think you want this person because they're hot. You think they want this person because they seem fun or they're unavailable. And then it just leads to hardship, but we're not there anymore. We're not in hardship. We're not keeping ourselves small. We're manifesting. All right, rounding out the reading towards the end of the month, we have the full in reverse. This is all about starting new within. So now we have the beginning and the end of the tarot of the major arcana, both in reverse. So what's happening, Leo, when we have this much reversals, when we have this much major arcana, we're going through a tremendous internal shift. We're going through tremendous internal growth that is going to start showing itself in August in new ways in the material world, in how you think about yourself. The fool in reverse says to not be stupid to be very thoughtful, to be sometimes we want to just go with the flow. Leo, you have the control right now to have control over your fate. You have the power to have control. You have the strength to have control. This is a month, Leo, about digging your claws in and getting what you want and not waiting anymore. We're not waiting anymore, you see? In our ideals, Leo, we're moving fast. We're communicating our desires to the universe because we know what we want. Bottom of the deck, Leo, we have the Queen of Cups. So I think that's what's been happening is there's been a healing journey within. I think what's what's fueling you guys right now is the desire for love and, and, and unconditional love. Not again, not only relationships. My one of my meditation gurus always says like love is about what you love. Love is a force that's not just connecting you to a person, but it's connecting you to life. Use your intuition right now. Trust your gut. You've been trusting your gut. You've been, it feels to me like with this card, there's a strong sense of timing and that you've been aware of your timing. I was telling a friend the other day, part of a good relationship or getting into a good relationship is timing. So for those of you looking for love, you know that you've been waiting for the right time when you are truly ready. For others of you, you know that now is the time to pursue your passions with gusto. Lots of passion, lots of love, lots of creativity. Because the lovers here, you know, creativity is art, but it's also sex and connection, right? It's the same chakra, the sacral chakra, right? It rules creativity, it also rules sexuality. Those two are often very similar. So be very creative this month about the direction you want to go in your life. Very thoughtful. Think about what you have to do to get there. 
if you want the love of your life, what do you what kind of position do you have to put yourself in now? What kind of mentality do you have to put yourself in now? What kind of physical places do you have to put yourself in? If you want your dream job, same things. Well, what does your attitude need to be? What do you need to sacrifice? What work do you need to do to get there? Beautiful. As our outcome for the month, Leo, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, there's some big love energy here. The Ace of Pentacles to me is often a love card. But it's like, and I love that it fell on top of the lovers. Because this is like real long-term partnership. Again, if you're single or looking or anything like that, this is real long-term partnership. The Ace of Pentacles is like that, we're in this together forever kind of energy. Now again, if you're in an established relationship, I think this is about what you're bringing to the table monetarily and bringing to the table in terms of your career and feeling like you're having something new to offer to your family, to your loved ones. Some of you might literally be a new job this month. Remember, this is a general reading, so uh, it's going to apply a lot of different ways to a lot of different people. I think that's why I kind of over explain so that you can find the nuggets in what I'm saying that resonate with you. Super, super positive reading. The most positive reading I've done this month. Maybe it's just like your energy, Leo. Maybe it just puts us all in a good place. But expect going forward this month, Leo, connection, expect love, expect attraction, physical attraction, but also like that spiritual kind of attraction, right? Be very careful about where you put your mind. And, and to manifest, it's not just our thoughts, it's our, what our words are. Be very thoughtful about your words. And I'm going to talk about words for a second with this in a minute, but um, let me just pull one last oracle card um, for one little bit of advice from spirit, from your higher self, from the universe, spirit guides. One last bit of advice for Leo for the month of August. <laughs> oh, 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 both of these. Let's take both of them, guys. I'm just going to let that sit there for a second. Just so you guys know how good I am at what I do. I'm feeling that Leo energy, right? I want to show you guys for a second how good I am at what I do. What is, what, what, what have I been saying this whole reading? Manifestation. This is you guys and you've been on this journey and I again want you to know that you are now at the time where things are blooming. August is a month for you to bloom. You've gone through this. You've gone through the introspection. You've gone through the meandering. You've gone through the seeking. And now we're blooming. And then, improbability. What this is saying to me, guys, is it's time to shoot for the stars. It's time to go big. It's time to remember what your dreams are. It's time to remind yourself of the thing that drives you. Of the dream that's driven you. To where you are today. And remember that you have the power to make it real. Like real manifestation power, Leo. I just want to show you real manifestation power this month. Ah, the full moon, literal manifestation. Ace of Pent uh, Page of Pentacles, Empress, Ace of Pentacles. Like we're making shit happen this month, Leo. All right guys, so I just want to take a quick moment. This is not meant to be a political speech. Um, I don't think that what I have here is political. I just want to take a moment to talk about how we talk about other people. Regardless of your political affiliations, I don't care. You can be Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal, it's okay. We're all allowed to have our uh, beliefs about policy. We all are allowed to have our beliefs about how the government should work. But what I've been very disturbed by, what I've been seeing in the news a lot, is the dehumanization of others. Calling people illegals calling people aliens. It sets us up for dehumanizing others. It sets us up for violating human rights. It sets us up for losing our humanity and our connection to our bigger family. So in our house here, we treat people with respect. We treat people with humanity. 
you guys maybe can get guess what my political affiliations are, but that's not what we're talking about. This is not a partisan issue to me. This is a human issue. This is about how we treat each other. So guys, just be very thoughtful when we have discussions, when you have discussions with others about the way we speak about people and be very careful in today's day and age where things are so heated to not lose sight of our humanity as we're like duking out our politics. It doesn't have to become ugly. It doesn't have to become dehumanizing. It doesn't have to be hostile to any group of people. I love you so much. You have a great month, Leo. Take care.